In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use the Excel Roman and Arabic functions. So here I have a spreadsheet, which is a list of students and some test scores and rankings. And let's see if I can turn their ranking into Roman numerals. There are cases in Excel when you would want to do this, especially if you're going to be displaying the data and you'd like it to be shown in Roman numerals. So I can click here on cell I2 and I'll type equals Roman, left parenthesis, and then I'll select a number. How about the contents of cell H2? Right now it's a nine, but whatever I put into that cell H2, I want to convert that into a Roman numeral. Now, if I want to, I can just finish the formula there. I can put in my right parenthesis and tap enter and look what it did. It converted nine into Roman numerals. Now, because I'm working in a table, that formula using the Roman function was automatically applied all the way down the table. But what if my data wasn't in a table? It was just a range. Let's try it there. So I'll type equals Roman, left parenthesis. I'll choose H2. And while I'm at it, I want to show you that there is another option that you can work with. After your number, you can put a comma, and then you can enter your preference for what type of Roman numerals to use. Most of us are familiar with the classic Roman numerals, but there are more concise, shorter, simpler versions of the Roman numerals. So if you want those simpler, shorter versions, go ahead and try these out. They'll look a little different than what you're typically used to. For example, I'll choose simplified this time. So I'll just double click on that, put in my right parenthesis, tap enter. It still looks the same to me, but when the Roman numerals get higher, you'll notice that it really is simplified and shorter. Now this time, because I entered the formula in a range, not in a table, it didn't automatically copy and apply my formula all the way down the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna select I2, double click on the autofill handle, the little green square in the lower right corner, and the formula is now applied all the way down. So that's a nice function to know about and to be able to use, but in my opinion, it's more common, instead of wanting to go from Arabic into Roman numerals, it's more common to want to go from Roman numerals into typical Arabic numbers. So let's try that. Here in cell J2, I'll click, I'll type equals Arabic, left parenthesis, and select some text. I should put in my right parenthesis, but you don't really have to. Tap enter, and it's converted the Roman numerals back into Arabic numerals. I can double click on the autofill handle to apply that down the spreadsheet, and we're back into the same numbering that we had here. I can also do that in the table. It will be even faster in the table. I'll just tap enter, and it's applied all the way down. One thing you could consider doing because these are Roman numerals, it might be a good idea to change the font from Calibri, in this case, to the font that goes with Roman numerals, and that is Times New Roman. So I'll select that. I might even increase the size of the font. I could make it bold, whatever I want to do to make those numbers really pop and stand out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. Or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my awesome $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do. I really appreciate your support. 